Yes, uh, hello, is this Mama Joe? Hi, Mama Joe, this is OG. How are you today? Good, good. Hey, I wanted to ask you about this uh, old uh, green building kind of on the back of the property here that's all boarded up and uh, locked and can't get into. What's what's the deal with that building? You you had a black widow infestation and you're absolutely terrified of spiders, so you just boarded the whole thing up and as far as you're concerned, I can burn it to the ground? <laughs> okay, okay, Mama Joe, I probably won't burn it to the ground because, you know, there might be some fire restrictions, but... Uh, is there anybody in town I could call maybe uh, to, to come and remove the building for me? Uh, I'd like to, you know, gain the space back. So, okay, so Delbert's Demolition and Construction Company uh, which should be able to take care of it. Fantastic. Okay, thanks, Mama Joe. We'll talk to you soon. All right, goodbye. Yes, is this uh, Delbert's Demolition and Construction Company? Oh, very good. Okay, who am I speaking to? Delberta. Oh, hi, Delberta. You're, you're Delbert's wife. Oh, nice. Nice to meet you. Okay, my name's OG, and uh, what? you already know who I am? How, how do you know who I am? I, I'm the guy that had those two tractors up at Johnson's Farmer's Market the other night acting inappropriately? Well, Delberta, I apologize for that. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll try and keep the uh, promiscuity of my tractors under control in the future. That, that, uh, that shouldn't have happened. I, I, I feel bad about it. Okay, very good. So, anyways, I was wondering if uh, Delbert could come on out and uh, uh, remove a building for me that, that I no longer need. He, he can do that? Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I'm just here on the uh, on the Elm Creek farm, and uh, you know where I live? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so go ahead and sit on Delbert on out. I'll be here, and uh, we can get this building removed. Fantastic. Thanks, Delbert. Have a nice day. All right, you guys, welcome back to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, we're going to start off this episode by having Delbert's uh, Demolition and Construction Company come on out and remove this building for us. Um, I have, there's there's nothing I can do with this building. I can't open the doors. I can't get inside. It's completely useless and just taking up space. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to get rid of that. So let's uh, come on over here. And we're going to get into the build menu. And Delbert is here now, and he's got his crew and his wrecking ball and excavator and all that kind of stuff. And he is getting rid of the building for us. And goodbye. All right, it's gone. Fantastic. Okay, so, you know, Delbert uh, didn't do that for free, of course. Um, and so he basically charged us $5,000 to remove that. So we are going to pay that and there we go five thousand dollars removed from the account and that pays delbert off and everybody's happy i'm not sure about delberta though keeping tabs on me it makes me a little bit nervous all right anyway let's um uh now the next thing we're going to do in this space is i want to set up a silage uh, around silage bale storage uh this is a mod uh called the bale storage mod and it is, you know what, we might need to actually move back a little further so we ourselves are not in the way. Um, so this is under silos, and it is right here. So there's round bale storage for hay, uh, for grass, for hay, for straw, and in our case for silage because that's what we uh, want to do with it. Okay, so uh, we're going to come over here and uh, want to kind of put it in this area. Overlaps with another object. Oh, I'll bet you it's that, that little icon thing of a doodle. I think we can remove those. Um, let's take a look. I think that's in the settings. Info, is it the info trigger? Shows info triggers, which give you helpful information about important game. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Okay, so let's turn that off. Save the game. And good. Okay, yeah, that got rid of that thing. Fantastic. Okay, let's go back into here. And once again, find our... Uh, bale storage. Now, here's what I kind of have in mind for this. Um, I'm only going to do one right now, but if it turns out that we need more than one, which we probably will over the course of a year, um, we could put one here and one here and one here, or we could even we could even maybe do like one here, one here, one here kind of idea. Uh, you know what, though? We should probably remove that grass first. Uh, because I can't really see the the loading area very well. So, yeah, let's do that. I don't want to get too crazy with the landscaping tool because it does charge us. Uh, so we'll just assume we called Larry the Landscaper up to remove this grass for us. 
Uh, so we'll use the big one and then let's get that back down to the small one. And maybe bring it up two notches. We might as well smooth that out too. And then we'll get rid of this stuff. And maybe that stuff there. Uh, I think I'll leave that the way it is for now. Okay, so now let's go back to here. Silos, bale storage. Okay, so yeah, what I'm thinking is we put one here. Man, I can barely see the load area though. I can see it okay on here. Uh, I might have to raise the ground up a little bit here, but man, that's going to cost money too. But I think we sh we could probably put... Let me change my camera angle more like this. Okay. We could probably put one here and one here. We yeah, we're not going to be able to get a third one in there. So... I think what I'll do for now, it, we'll, we probably could only put two in there. This is 400,000 liters. Uh, we definitely will not have that much silage in one harvest on our fields, but as time goes on and we acquire more fields, we are going to need more room, of course. So maybe what we should do is just plan on putting two in here. So we could put one here. And then later on, we could put one here, and I could raise that ground up later. Uh, I want to be careful with our money right at the moment. So, okay. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's push this back to here. And is that at the angle we want it to be at? I mean, it's kind of hard to... There's not a whole lot to compare it to. I could maybe line it up with the angle on this right here okay and then we put that one there later we put one here okay yeah I think that's I think that's what we want there we go it's a done deal all right nifty so what we can do here of course is uh, one of these is a load area one of them's a drop-off area I'm not sure which one is which but we'll f figure that out you know when the time comes and we can store our silage bales in here until, you know, the it's time to sell. So, very cool. All right, we got that done. We got that done. Now, uh, that leaves us with $86,000 left over. And I'm really tempted, you guys. Well, there's two, there's two big purchases I would, I'm thinking about making. And I haven't decided which one to do. I, I do want to keep buying fields, too. However... This field back here has canola planted on it, but it's not going to be ready to harvest until like next July. So it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't really make sense for us to buy this field now. We can't do anything with it. And in the meantime, you know, we've tied up all that money until July. Um, so we will definitely buy this field eventually. So we could buy this field, uh, which is which is limed already, but it needs stone picking. This field is limed, but it's got a ton of weeds on it. So we'd have to deal with those if we bought this field. So there's that option, right? Or we could buy chickens. Um, and if we did that, I'd, I'd like to just splurge and get the big chicken house and be done with it. Uh, but that's going to cost us 80 grand. Or we could buy that Pottinger rear mower that Windrose that I really liked in the last um, contracts that we did. You know what? I haven't looked at the sales. What's in the sales? Okay, so it looks like we've got a, a header, a front. What is that? A front loader? No, it's a telehandler for 30000 Ooh, this is nice, you guys. Look at this trailer. Another telehander too. Too. What else you got? And a Massey Ferguson tractor. Okay. Well, this looks 
very promising. What is okay? So it holds. What's it currently configured as? Okay, so it holds about twenty-two thousand liters, twenty-two and a half thousand liters, right now, and it's an extension trailer, and it can also be. Well, okay, yeah, it just has the extension on it is all. So we can't change it into a flatbed. So 22.5, what's our current trailer's capacity? 24, so our current trailer holds more than this one does. Uh, that's a pretty good buy though, excuse me guys, $6,000, well, $6,700. Um, does it come with the extension? Yeah, it does. Um, well, actually, no, I guess we could get it without, but I mean, if we're going to get it, I would get it with the extension. Uh, okay. Well, man, that's tempting. It is tempting, but I don't know that that's something we absolutely need right now. So... Yeah, the, so what I was thinking about was this rear potager mower here, but it's $75,000. Man, that would be nice to have. It completely would eliminate having to windrow because it does the windrowing. We can use our existing, I mentioned this in a previous episode. I don't know why this potager is thirteen grand. It's a 3.1 meter. And the coon is only 95 and also 3.1 meter. I mean, what makes that other one better than this one? I'm not really sure. It requires more horsepower, too. Uh, but we already own this, right? So we could sell this. And how much would we get back if we sold that? Uh, we'd, get a, we'd get almost $12,000 back to help go towards... Um, that you know, I'm gonna do this anyways because I just don't use this anymore. So we're gonna do that regardless. Okay, that gets us some money back. Um, so that brings us up to ninety-eight thousand five. Uh, I gotta fix my baler there. Oh, I'm just trying to think. Okay. So if we buy that, that's gonna basically. Knock us all the way down to 18,000. What do we have for contracts this month, too? I haven't even looked at those yet. We got a really tiny cultivating contact, but our contract, but we'll accept it because we already we have our own cultivator now. Uh, anything else? Oh, there's a much larger one. Okay, we'll accept that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's some money that'll come in for us. And it's all cultivating, which is really good because. Again, we don't have to borrow any equipment. We have a pretty good sized cultivator. Anything else? Another one. Okay, so that's cool. So we've got all this money. And if we just do a very quick, it's a very quick math here. So we're basically looking at 68, 98, uh, 10. 24, 35-ish. We're looking about $35,000 once we finish those. That's assuming I don't hire any workers, which I probably will. But still, we'll, we'll get the lion's share of that. So that brings our, our money up some more. So the question, I guess, now is, should I get that... Should I get that Pottinger mower, which I really, really want to get? Or, 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 should we throw down some money and get into the chicken business. So this can hold up to 360 chickens. This can hold 30. Massive, massive difference. But of course, this is only 6,000. Plus, I think this has plumbed water already. Uh, whereas this one doesn't. Not that that's a big deal. I mean, we already have everything we need to provide water and stuff. Eh, man, it's hard to decide. The mower is going to make our life much easier. But the chicken coop is going to get us money, uh, more money. I, I think we should go with the chicken coop. I really do. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, okay, so 
The next question now is where we're going to put it. I, I've always kind of intended to put the chicken coop once we got it back here somewhere. Uh, I might need to rethink where I've got the header and the cultivator because I just kind of moved that stuff over there at the moment to get rid of that building. It is kind of nice to have this open area back there, but we also have a pretty open area here for loading, you know, the greenhouses and stuff. So what if we put this here? What if we put this here? here let's turn this way. Obviously, like I said, again, I'll, I'll move the... Let's make sure that's pretty square. Okay, that's square with the greenhouse. Uh, so we would need to be able to get into the silo to load feed, and then the other side of the chicken house would offload eggs for us to pick up. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right, let me, get, uh, let me get this stuff moved out of the way, and we're going to bite the bullet and buy the chickens. I'm, I'm going to hold off on the mower. Uh, what I'll do for my own fields is what I've been doing is I'll just use our front mower and then pull the baler behind it and just automatically bale as we go along. It seems to work pretty good. So we'll do, that's how we'll take care of that. All right, well, let's get the header moved and the cultivator moved. I have to figure out where I'm going to put those now. And then we're going to get ourselves in the chicken business, ladies and gentlemen. Start making eggs and we'll sell the eggs when we sell the produce and more money coming in for us uh, I don't have any grain of my own so we'll have to purchase that which we can do from the store all right let's load the header up there and let's see where we're we gonna put this Wait, I guess we could store this uh, I don't know where will we store this I guess we could store it on the other side of the the bale storage for now um yeah let's here i'll tell you what let's do this let's back up eventually i want to get you know sheds to store all this stuff in but we just can't afford that right now one thing at a time okay so we'll keep the header there I might even just park the cultivator in front of it because we're going to be using the cultivator a lot more often than we'll be using the header at this point. In fact, I don't even have anything right now that we need a header for. Uh, well, until we get, you know, some harvest contracts. And I am planning on buying that canola field, but there's no point in buying it until, you know, August, July, August, when it's ready, actually ready to harvest. Because we can't do anything with the field until then anyway. out just a little bit okay let's go get the cultivator out of the way in fact you know what I should do I think I'm gonna get a worker started on the cultivating I'm gonna use workers for maybe even all of those just because it takes so long and that way I can be working on baling my my hay or my silage yeah you know we'll we'll lose some of the money but we'll still get most of it okay hook up the lines there all right so let's uh let's go back into our contracts here what is the largest field it's going to be this nine thousand uh, field 32. Okay, so field 32 is right here. Yeah, that's a big field. Wow, yowzers. Okay, definitely gonna have a worker do that one. <laughs> uh, so let's let's go ahead and drive this out there and get the worker started. At least we don't have to lease any equipment, and we're not losing any money by borrowing equipment. So it's a pretty good deal. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not thinking straight about this. This isn't going to work because I need my tractor for bailing. All right. You know what? Never mind then. I'll, uh, 
I'll have to work on the cultivating later. And I'll probably do it all off camera. Because, you know, I mean, how many times have you guys seen me do cultivating now, right? I'll just put, put a YouTube video on and just kind of veg out and get her done. Because I need the tractor for baling, so that's not going to work. Eventually, you know, we'll get another tractor. But, again, we have to prioritize our ex expenditures. And we don't need another tractor right now, as nice as it would be to have one. Oops. Okay. So let's buy some chickens, guys. You know, we gotta buy the we gotta buy the chicken house, but we gotta buy the chickens too, so yeah. <laughs> um we pro we're definitely not gonna be able to have enough money to fill the thing all the way up. Okay, so let's get lined up again here and we want to go to animals and chi <coughs> excuse me chickens 79,000 bucks for this thing it looks like it's still nice and lined up and uh, am I gonna have a problem with the egg area Toggle free mode is uh, off. I don't think that really makes any difference, does it? Well, I can see the one edge of it, so I think we'll be okay if we put it there. Or what we could do is try and smooth that out a little bit first. Uh... Okay, so let's At least this doesn't cost any money. What I might like to do though, which is going to cost a little bit of money is go here. And let's Enlarge this. Oh man, I wish I wouldn't do that. It goes way beyond the border. We'll just kind of square that off a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now let's uh, see what it looks like. Chickens. I still can't really see the front thingies, but I don't know if that actually matters. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. There's another trigger back there, too. Oh, all right. You know what? We might need to turn this this way. It would look neater to have the chickens out this way. Yeah. Okay. So, let's make sure this is square. That's pretty square there. And then, I guess we just drive back there with our forklift to get the eggs. Except for they're getting kind of buried back there. The marker. And I don't know if that causes a problem or not. So, let's... Um, let's go back to here. Uh, maybe we need to do a little bit of leveling. That does cost money. Now let's see if we can see the load area. Yeah, we can see it much better this like this. Okay. 
Now, let's get bird's eye view spot. Get up a little bit here. Um, we kind of don't want to block the roadway, though, either. So, doggone it. Yeah, that, that becomes a bit of an issue, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, well, if we go back to this configuration... What is that trigger point? Oh, maybe that's where we buy more animals. So we wouldn't need to get back there with machinery. And it's probably just where we buy animals and configure the building and stuff like that, which we can also do from the main menu anyway. It's a little too far back that way. All right, I think, whoops, I think this is where we're going to put it. Okay, it's done. Let's go take a look at it. Nice. Okay, so th I think this is where the eggs pallets will come out. This is how we get in. Can we open the door and get in there? Open door. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's little feeder thingies in here. A little display showing how the building is. Oh, and look at that. You can bring down the, the window, too. This is cool, man. I love it. How do I close that door? There we go. Okay. I'm a liking it, man. Okay, so this is where we give them feed. This is where they'll wander out in the yard. And this is where we actually purchase the chickens. So the deal is here is that uh, I, I believe we just want one rooster. And then, you know, we don't have to f completely fill the place up because the chickens will, they'll mate and they'll reproduce, you know, and eventually they'll take care of that themselves, right? So let's, um, let's get one rooster. And then I'm just going to go on the cheap and get, well... Here's the thing. If we get the cheap chickens, how much money do we have? We only have $19,000 right now. These guys are, you know, 10% of the price, but, but we have to wait six months before they can start reproducing. Uh, chicken produce eggs, which can be sold. Chickens, da, 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 is it animals that are healthy and older than six months can reproduce, which means we don't get eggs or new chickens until you know, six months from now. I think we should buy grown chickens. Okay, a transport fee is applied if you do not transport the animals with your own livestock trailer. Ooh. Okay, what? Okay, here, how many of these can we afford to get is the question. Actually, we can get quite, quite a few, can't we? That's not... Oh. So 60 is the max that we can purchase. Why is that, though? Because we can hold 360 in here. I don't know. That's only going to cost us $3,300, you guys. That Let's do it. Let's do it. That way, we'll start getting eggs immediately, and the animals will start reproducing and eventually fill the place up for us. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. There they are. Look at that. We got chickens. That is awesome. I love it. There's the rooster. Okay, so we got to get these guys um, some food. So that's just for purchasing. This doesn't tell us anything about the condition of the building itself. Can we... Chicken coop. Okay, so... It yeah, we got to get it, get them some food immediately. 
Hopefully they'll be okay until we do that. Um, the other thing too is, isn't this like a hard plumbed production? Oh no, animals. Okay. Wait, do we not have to provide water to the chickens? What? I guess we don't. Huh, okay. All right, well, let's go get some feed for these guys. We're going to have to go down to the store and buy that. Or actually, no, we can have it delivered. That's right, we got the delivery service. I don't know how much feed it takes uh, to take care of these guys, but we'll just buy... Let's just buy one bag for now, and we'll see, you know, how far that gets us. So that's 1400 bucks, And there it is right there. Okay. Uh, we'll get the forklift out and just take it over there and get it inside the little silo for them. Little feeder. We got chickens, you guys. It's awesome. Okay, so we just drive this over here, and I think it'll just load it, or maybe we have to tell it to load it. Oh, look, it's just <laughs> it's just dumping it on the ground. Okay, well, I guess I guess there's a. An auger or something? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's hop out and take a look now at the fee food. Okay, so we have 999 liters. Oh my goodness, okay, that only fills it up like 10%. Interesting. Okay, so I'll be curious to see how, um, how long that grain lasts. So we're going to just start with one bag and then we'll go from there. So... Now, how do I change the chickens to, it looks like they're set to selling. Uh, can't I set it to where they store the eggs so I can sell them myself? I don't see an option for that. That's for purchasing more chickens. Do we do any of that in here? What's this do? That doesn't do anything. There's like a little storage bunker thingy here too, which is cool. Alright, close the door. Close the door. It's not giving me the option to close the door. I don't know why. I'm really surprised we don't have to provide water to them, unless maybe it is actually plumbed in, right? How do we close that doggone door? Close door. Okay, now open this door. No, not that door. This door. So maybe these are like little watering thingamadoodles and I guess we have to assume that the place is plumbed in because they can uh, you know it, there's no option for me to give them water so All right, how did I open that screen back up I think I was in here yeah like that give them some fresh air we might have to close that in the winter time though when it gets really cold fantastic alright Close that door. 
Open that door. Uh, this is really weird, man. Finding the right spot to open and close the door. Okay. So I guess we don't need to worry about water. Um, the one thing, though, again, that I'm a little bit uh, wondering about is in our production chains, I can set the outgoing product, you know, to change the output mode to storing, which means then that it stores it in pallets and I can sell it. But I don't see that option for chickens. It just says selling right here. Maybe eggs don't automatically sell. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just have to, we'll have to figure it out. We'll have to just kind of see how things come together with that. All right, well, we got ourselves some chickens, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. It's a pretty big milestone for us, our first critters here in uh, Farming Simulator 22. I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, all right, so we're going to... Yeah, how come we got such a big bump right here? Well, I guess, yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, I guess the next thing now is for us to... I'm gonna do our silage next and then work the cultivating contracts. And we'll get, you know, we'll, we'll take our bales and throw them in there. And once we get them, let them store up until January. So I'm going to park the forklift and get started on that. Uh, I might, I might show you a little bit of a time lapse of the haying, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we've done it so many times now. I don't know if you guys are getting tired of seeing it or not. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll show a little bit of it with, with just, you know, one little song or something, but for the most part, I'm going to do it off camera and same thing with the cultivating. Um, you've seen that a million times too. So I'll probably do all the cultivating off camera and, and I may hire some workers to help with that. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, that being said, let's jump in our tractor and start harvesting our silage.
All right, guys, we are finally done uh, with our silage bales. Uh, got a little too close to the first pile, so they're a little bit haphazard, but that's only temporary. Um, so these are technically actually grass wrapped grass bales right now. They're not actual silage bales because it takes, um, what, three days or whatever for them to turn to silage. So uh, that confused me at first because I was trying to throw a couple of them into the storage and they wouldn't take and I'm going well why isn't this working and then it dawned on me oh yeah because these aren't actually silage yet so we're just gonna let them sit there um, and and ferment and then once they turn into silage you know then we'll uh, we'll, we'll load them up into the to the storage thing uh, okay so we have a couple of things that need to happen uh, I missed a little spot here but eh, that's all right there's not not much to do about it right now but um, I've got a couple spots over here that I apparently missed with the cedar. And so I was thinking about maybe going to get that really inexpensive cedar. We should probably just buy the doggone thing. It's not that much money. How much? Well, I don't have a lot of money on me, though, either. <laughs> Excuse me, at the moment. I mean, that's going to change pretty soon, of course. But um, we do have around 30 like, ish thousand dollars worth of cultivating contracts to do. Uh, which is the next, you know, kind of thing on the list here. Um, but let's just um, disconnect those, disconnect those. Let's just take a quick look at how much would it cost for me just to lease that cedar. Because I'd, I'd rather get the seed all over those spots right now than once the grass starts growing again. Um, so to lease this is 357 bucks. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Um, that way we can just get it taken care of and uh, don't have to worry about it. Okay, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then, of course, like I said, the next thing is we're going to hook up to our cultivator. Uh, I hope our little tractor can handle that cultivator, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, that just occurred to me. I wonder you know, if it can. Well, hopefully it can. I guess we're going to find out, right? Uh, but let's just touch up those those spots real quick that we missed. And then I have, um, what's this? I don't know. That's just a dark spot, I guess. And then we had, we had some hay um, up by the road at, at the border that I just wasn't able to. Did that connect the lines? It's not doing anything else. Okay, I guess it's connected. Um, you know that I couldn't pick up. I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't have sold my my windrower now, but I don't know. I'll probably just paint over it. it. It's just there's not enough hay here for me to lease a windrower just to pull that one strip in. There's a couple other little spots too, but. I don't know why, too. It doesn't let me pick it up right there, but it lets me pick it up everywhere else. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, all right, how much does it cost to lease the cheapest windrower that we have? Uh, windrower. So that one's 5000 So I guess that would be this little sip here. What is that? Oh, okay. So it looks like it just pulls it all to into that shield. Um, two hundred fifty-five bucks. Let's just do it. Dark, dark on it. <laughs> it's gonna bug me otherwise. Uh, so yeah, I'll use the, I'll use that windrower to pull this other hay and then pull the baler back out and get it taken care of. Uh, now we also have the roller there too that we bought, and so we're gonna use that to, of course. Uh, roll the grass and that will give us our second stage of fertilizer. It's going to take a while because it's not a very big roller, but what I might try and do there is... Did that open up? Yeah. Um, R to load? Yeah. Okay. What I might try and do there is um, do the headlands myself and then turn it over to the AI and have them try and do it. Okay, so let's switch this to grass. All right, that's grass. I'm 
Turn it on and down. Okay, we missed this little spot here. And looks like this little spot here. And then a bigger spot up here. Okay, that should take care of that. I don't think we have any more missed spots. Oh yeah, maybe we do have it here. It looks like what maybe we do have right here. Okay, so let's throw some seed in there, and I think that's good. I think that's good. I should just buy this thing. I mean, I'm not going to right now, of course, but I should buy this thing because it's just... It's only seven grand, man, and it's so useful to have. Okay, so let's drop off the seed here. Okay, and then we'll pop this off. I guess I probably have to have it lowered. Makes sense. And I guess that doesn't have lines that hook up. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so we need to connect to this on this side. I've never used this little wind rower before. I probably just need to not get quite so far out next time. Just so I don't have to clean up the mess later, you know. And do you have any lines? Nope, no lines. Uh, okay, so I think we're going to want to go uh, this direction. And just kind of pull it in. Uh, no. No, I think we want to go the other direction because I believe the row is going to be up against that shield there. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go. I wonder if we can pull this little bit of hay out, too. I just couldn't get the baler back in there. It's probably not even worth the hassle. Okay. How do I turn that on? It's not turning on. Do we have to unfold something? All right. Maybe there are lines that need to be hooked up. I didn't see anything connect. Oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't get the PTO hooked up. Okay. Look at that thing, man. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try and pull this grass out, but you are down, right? Yeah. Just enough to get at it with the baler. Since we're going to the trouble of doing it, we might as well get as much as we can, right? The problem with this, though, is that I just can't get the baler that far up against the fence. I can maybe pull... this part out a little more but yeah okay that's probably the bet as good as it's gonna get with that um, okay so now what we'll do here is we'll back up oh why isn't that pulling over Not grabbing it. Okay, well, we might have to just paint over that then. Okay, it's grabbing that. 
This is the big pile. Hopefully it'll get this. There we go. Good. Oh, crap. It's not getting that, though. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess it wasn't really worth it to do this then. Uh, let's go... Let's run over here. I got that dad gum rake, you know, mod, which is supposed to clean that stuff up, but I could never figure out how to get it to work. And the mods, you know, some of these mods that you get are sorely lacking in instructions. Right, let's see if we can pull any of this over. Yeah, a little bit of that came over. Okay. Let's do another pass here. This corner has always been a hard spot to get all the hay out of because it's right on the corner of the border there. But we should be able to pull this grass. All right. Uh, I don't think there's anything over there. There might be a little bit in this corner back here. <coughs> This is another place that's a pain in the butt to get to. To get all the bay, get the bay there all the way in. We actually did a pretty good job of doing that, though. Uh, I guess we can pull a little bit out. There's some way back in there, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. That's a cute little wind rower. Um, okay, guys. So I think that is pretty much going to wrap things up for this episode. I might keep you with me. Uh, whoops. Just long enough to get started on the rolling. But like I said, I'm probably going to put an AI worker to work on that just because... That roller's pretty small, and we got a lot of field to roll here. And I'll, I'll pick up the rest of that grass later. I'm not going to do that right now. The stuff that we did manage to pull in. Okay, so let's just start this process. We bought this guy used. That's why the paint's not in the best of shape, but who cares, right? We got a really good deal on it, and we need it for grass. And hook up lines. And no PTO on this one. Okay. Start down on this end of the field. I don't know if this works on on pasture grass. I guess we can find out, won't we? Okay, let's back it up here and then unfold it. Oh, right. Okay, that's the hitch to transport it. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Forgot that that's how it works. That, that makes things easy. No complex mechanisms to have to unfold anything. And this is just a hookup. There's no, shouldn't be any wires, cables, or anything. Yep. There is a, there's a little hydraulic thing there, though. 
so how am I supposed to control that if I'm not hooked up to it? It's not doing anything when I hold down the the button. That's weird. Um Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go into the map. And we're gonna zoom down on our field here and go to soil composition. And you can see that this is light blue because grass always has one stage of fertilization after you cut it. So what this is supposed to do now is I guess it, you know, <clears throat> the act of squashing the grass down releases more nutrients or something, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can definitely see it changes, definitely changes color there. Interesting. Okay. I guess we'll just have to roll right over the top of this stuff. I could paint it, but then I screw up my field if I do that, so. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could get rid of that with the admin command. Uh, but anyway, you can see now if I look at this in the lower right-hand corner that it's nearly fully fertilized, and if we look at it in the map it updated to dark but it doesn't look like it did like the little pasture grass on the side so it, it is only going to work on field grass okay that's that's good to know uh let's see if we can do some admin magic here real quick so if we look at this hay and we go into here and we put delete on I should probably save too, just in case I screw something up. I don't know if this will work on this grass or not, but if we get up to the grass, look at it and press delete. Nope, nothing happens. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, the only other way I know of to get rid of that is to paint over it. But again, it's kind of right on the edge of our field. Okay, well, I'll, I'll worry about that later, I guess. Or maybe I'll leave it there. Problem is, if you leave it there, I don't think it ever goes away. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to roll the field. And then when the rolling's done, um, I'm going to do the cultivating contracts. I'm just going to do all that off camera. And then we're going to sleep probably till November 3rd. Um, and the, you know, because on November 3rd, that's when we got to do our produce again. So that is the tentative plan. If I have a compelling reason to bring you back before then, of course I will. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.